Hello and welcome to the USF 2000 at Olton Park. I'm very excited about this one. This is a new car for me. Um, another one of those new road cars I was talking about that I'm giving a try now that I've uh, generously been given some credits for i rating or i i rating i racing for uh, the holiday season, and uh, I'm expanding my roadside a little bit more. And I'm so excited to try this one because in practice I was really enjoying driving this thing. Feels like a, a, a natural step up from something like the uh, Formula V, and uh, it's been it's I really enjoy the way it drives, so I'm super excited. And uh, hopefully I don't <laughs> mess up real bad. I'm obviously going to be taking it pretty easy as I learn this thing. I'm not going to do anything too crazy, make any crazy moves or anything like that. But uh, this one's coming a little more naturally to me than the other new car I got, the uh, touring car. The uh, Hyundai. Sorry, I've got to concentrate. It's not uh, still learning the thing, so it's uh, taking a little more brain power. Hard for me to talk at the same time. But, uh, yeah, did a full 30 minute practice ahead of time, and uh, felt like I was getting some good times in. At least relative to who else was in the practice, so who knows if that's. You know, I'm going to be in top flag, split, so who knows flag. if it's top split quality, but. Uh, Chances are I'm not going to be <laughs> throwing me in the deep end, the top split here, learning a new car. So, probably not going to be an easy task, but uh, I'll give it my best. That obviously was very underdriven. I have to take that a little harder. That corner always gives me trouble, though, no matter what car I'm in. So, we'll see what we can do. Try to get a good qualifying lap in. I feel comfortable enough in this thing to uh, go ahead and qualify. Normally a new car, I would... Uh-oh. <laughs> As I'm saying, I'm comfortable. I'm driving poorly. But uh, I feel like uh, I'm comfortable enough with how I can control this thing, is what I'm trying to say, that uh, I feel like I can do an okay job holding my line and such. Hopefully that's true. We'll see. <laughs> I believe that to be true. Not a great lap here, but at least it'll be a baseline. And uh, maybe we can do a little bit better the next lap. Thankfully this time I'm uh, a little more familiar with the track. I think that helps a lot, because the last time I tried something new in the touring car, it was both a new car and a new track, and that's a tough task. So, at least I'm familiar with Bolton Park. So, learning a new thing might not be as bad. I think that a little bit better, thankfully. Pay no attention to the first place, because that's definitely not going to stay. I just happened to start qualifying a little sooner than others, I assume. Yeah, that goes down to second. I think this lap might be a little better, though. Here we go, don't underdrive it that time. Alright. Man, it's so fun to drive. I'm really glad I went out and uh, gave this one a try. It's, uh, it's been a blast just practicing with it. Hmm. I can go through there a little faster. I've had some trouble with that. It's, uh, so far this little lap's looking a lot better. Almost cut it a little soon there. Almost got in the grass out of my bed. Almost overdrove it, did overdrive it. Okay, we're okay though. Saved it. Oh, it's gonna ruin the lap though. That stinks. I had such a good pace going. Oh man. That was still better than the first lap too. Dang. I was like four tenths or more there. That stunk. Well, I think I'm still in the same spot I would have been, because that other guy is about a second faster, so... Even losing that bit, I think I'm in the same spot. Watarai Naoki, Yoshinori Yamagata. 
Wilton Tindall. <laughs> and then Colin Roar. Let me stop. <laughs> but I'm not even making fun of people's names, I'm just saying names. Do a little bit of more driving. Maybe uh, everyone will get their laps done and we'll be able to get going. Hopefully. Shifting at the wrong times. It's interesting because I know uh, it's definitely spots I can push a little harder, but I'm a little uh, being a little extra careful. Let's see, what's my optimal? Optimal is a 127, 120.7, I should say. Oh, that would have put me in the pole if I managed a perfect lap based on all my best sectors. <laughs> but uh, that's much easier said than done, obviously. Oh, uh, off track. No. Okay. It's not going to count for much of anything anyway. I don't actually know how long are these races. Go ahead and check that now. Get on out of the car. Oh yeah, I can show off uh, the paint scheme as well. Just regular trading paints, but uh, it's a winter fresh gum, just like my Indy car. It's nothing really that spectacular, but it's a very nice paint that I got from uh, trading paints. So, not mine. I didn't make it or anything. But uh, I'm happy with it. Same guy that did make my Indy winter fresh looking car so so far thirds holding up pretty well i'm feeling pretty good about that very close time with colin there colton and colin in the same spot to switch the four and five so and uh how many people we got we got number one 14 and 15 have not gone and it's uh looks like we're going to be waiting the rest of the 50 seconds because the 15 is actually not here they lost connection so unfortunate for them the only rookie in here so they must have been they must be rising the ranks or something I think this might have... Maybe it didn't split at all. This might not have split, actually. Interesting. So, alright, well, I guess well, at least we're not the only one that got incidents before the race starts. Just about everybody has. That's interesting. Huh. So, alright. Just waiting on 14, and then, I don't know, maybe it will speed ahead if the 15's not here. It's, uh... I guess maybe Bill's still doing a lap or something. No, he's not even out there. He just didn't click the button, maybe? I don't know. Either way, we only got three seconds. <laughs> so, anyway, I made a huge change. I went ahead and turned the brake bias from 55 to 55, uh, 4.5. That's how you be fast. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. Maybe lessen the chance to... One to go, next time by. Line up to lock up the brakes. <laughs> oh, we got bumped to fourth. Ah, oh, the number one got a time in. Look at that, 120.7. That's my optimal. <laughs> so, number one can be optimal, optimal on command, apparently. Except his optimal is probably much better, even. So, um, I learned about six seconds ago that this is not a standing start, but a rolling start. So, that's something. Like, uh, Rokamora <laughs> has uh, reconnected in time for the race. Good for them. I assume they're going to be able to ready up. And uh, I failed to check to see how long it is. But it uh, does look like it's a timed race rather than laps. So, learning all kinds of great new things here today. I'm going to have to check for tire spin. I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not. Don't know uh, a lot of things about these cars. I'm liable to make some very rookie mistakes. So be prepared for that. I could loop it. I imagine these tires are cold like any other thing. So I'll, maybe I'll go a little easier. First couple laps and maybe get run over from behind. Who knows? Remember the breaking point for the hairpin is at the crest of the hill. Thank you, sir. I did notice that. I'm going to want to break sooner than that, though, in a pack. Because... 
they're gonna get bunched up in front of you. So I'm gonna be lifting off a little earlier than that if there's people in front of me. James out here with the pro tips. Thank you, James. That was his name, right? James? Yes, James B. His last name is just a letter. The track temp is 84. Can if you can see the hairpin, four. it's too late. <laughs> I'd say that's probably true. Because you do lock up... Uh... Follow car number five in the right lane. What's that noise? You do lock up the brake... What? What's happening? You scared me, man. What the... Hello? I'm on your outside, my man. It's freaking me out already. Do these guys know how to do rolling starts? Are they not supposed to be back here? Doesn't look like tire spins a thing. Oh, they're like oh, oh, rolling with the tires. Lord, that's scary. Can you guys just be normal, please? <laughs> Jeez, we're way back from the pace car. Man, this is not how you're supposed to do a rolling start. Alright, oh, I don't know what's going on here. Well, I guess we survived. So that's a thing. Oh, that guy almost spun it already. That was scary. Okay, well, we're gonna kill each other. Oh, get away! Oh! <laughs> Alright, well. A roaring start to my USF 2000 career. Number one's gonna drive away from us. Let's see if we can hold second, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm missing my shifts. I'm like scatterbrained because holy cow, that was crazy. Man, I would be mad if I was the guy that just got turned into there. That was very unnecessary. Mitchell is now in the lead. See if I can remember how to drive while in race conditions, because I am boy sure am I nervous. I am very nervous. In this new car of mine. You don't want to scratch up and dent up the new car. There is zero chance I'm keeping up with good old Byron up there, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. Instead I'm gonna worry about that gap behind me. Actually, you know what? The best thing to do is not worry about anything at all. Just worry about hitting my marks. But not that. And, uh, not crash the thing. Oh, speaking of crash, I think the guy behind me crashed. Apparently the I way to be good in this taken. series is... Don't crash. That seems to be a common theme in road racing, actually. At least in, uh, my limited experience. Alright, tires getting up to temp. Number one driving off in the distance. I guess we are technically supposed to finish second, but I didn't really think that was going to be possible without experience in this car. Still going to have to work for it though, they're catching up a little bit behind me. Yeah, I go there, through there way too slow. I'm just super scared. And it seems like you can kind of get the car turning a little bit better if you get a little on the gas. So, uh, probably would benefit me to be a little bit more assertive with it. But who knows. Obviously, nothing I should say with this should be taken any with any seriousness because I'm still learning the thing. I learn a, in a lap or two, like, oh my god, never, ever hit the gas while turning. I don't know. All I've had in this car is 30 minutes of practice and what you've seen here. That's all we got so far. I do know that it can get really loose out of that corner if you hit the gas too uh, too soon. So I've got to watch out for that. Car ahead. What's happening? 
You got a slow Lots. car on the right. The next car's the leader. Oh, that was a leader! Holy smokes! He's so far ahead that he's still in front of me, though. Is he damaged? Do I have a chance? I don't think so. I think he could do what he wants and still win this thing. He probably did it on purpose. <laughs> hey, but uh, mistakes are possible. Out of the leader. That gets my hopes up a little bit for no reason. About a second off my best time. Just because I think I'm being way too careful. Or maybe just the right amount of careful for my inexperience, so. Happy that I'm uh, maintaining a gap behind us. Felt pretty good. Kind of drove it on edge a little bit there to get it through the corner. Wonder if uh, tire savings a thing at all in this series? No clue. Could not tell you. I know that uh, locking the tires up is a bad thing, and that's very possible to do in this car. I'm not sure if I've ever driven an iRacing car that uh, it was so easy to lock up the tires as I've experienced. So that's uh, that's very interesting and something I noted while practicing. kind of nice. Um, you actually kind of have to be gentle with the brakes and not just smash them. Makes for a... I don't know, what's a little more finesse, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I kind of like it. Look at this lap! Hot dang! Three tenths better than my best. That's progress! Of course, the leader gets his best lap too. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess, like any other road car, though, this this thing's probably losing. Uh, it's getting lighter as the fuel burns off, and uh, and uh, the tires are warmer, so we're getting better grip. So uh, makes sense. You should probably be getting faster and faster laps. One is once again driving away, as expected, but uh, we kept up with him pretty good so far. I feel pretty good about that. I definitely can drive through here a lot harder, but it's uh, outside of my comfort zone at the moment. That'll be something that I think in future practice sessions I'll work on. Pushing through there a little harder and seeing uh, where it breaks. I thought that was a leader for a second. I got excited. That says uh, James B. Fortunately, no one was there to give him tips on that corner. So three seconds back from the leader. Six seconds back from uh, our in front of third place. So that's pretty cool. Mm, I'm well, a little way too wide on that turn. It's fine. We do have lap traffic. I saw the lap traffic kind of messed with the leader earlier. Maybe uh, slow him down a little bit here. I don't really want to win because a lap guard takes out the leader, but you know maybe it could give us a chance. And capitalize maybe on something that happens. I did that really weirdly. I think I cut too early. Hitting in. Oh. But the leader I purposely said pitting out, but I think they accidentally hit those buttons. I was like pitting in. <laughs> can't imagine why he would be pitting in. This is a fixed series, by the way, the one I'm in at the moment. So, it's not like he uh, accidentally left the qualifying setup in or something. So that's not a thing, he just accidentally hit his uh, quick chat button. Man, this is fun to drive, though. I'm so excited for... Uh, future weeks being able to drive this one, I think I'm going to make this uh, frequent revisit. It's uh, it's this fun to drive on other tracks, which I'm sure it is. So uh, expect more of this in the future. Very good purchase. Okay, that was scary. Again, got a jolt of hope that it was the leader, but not quite. 
and then got a jolt of fear when I saw a car sitting in the middle of the track. And thankfully they got off. <laughs> Get out of the way. Thank you. I'm guessing the five let them by. Very nice of them. It's good to see some uh, polite lap cars. I hope I'll get the same courtesy. I almost cut that a little bit too much. I did do that once in practice. I uh, flipped my left sides on that little uh, tire tire stack there and like ripped the one off. So that's uh, something you don't want to do actually. I learned that that's not a good way to get a fast lap. Ooh, got light there. But we're good. Oh man, that number three's coming. I just saw that guy. You've just done a, a 22.2. I just saw that guy, uh on the list. They made it past the 12 with ease, it, it would appear. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on them. Overdrove this. Seems like we're okay, though. We got a bit of a runoff. Just going to make sure I hit my braking zones. Do anything dumb. Some of the guys that have crashed are leaving. Took me a minute to get used to the shifting, figuring out how that works. Ooh, got light again. <laughs> That's scary, man, when it starts getting sideways. Um, yeah, it took me a minute to figure out how the shifting works. I think I got a decent understanding. There could be ways I could be doing it more optimally, but seems okay for now. Oh, that three is coming. We might end up in third. If he has anything to say about this. I wonder how much time we have left. I'll have to check that in a moment. Three and a half minutes or so. It's about two or uh, about three, four laps. That's hard, especially when you're driving around. <sighs> Lots of people crashed, I guess. Lots of people leaving. It is a single split race, I believe. So, it's people new to it, like I am, I guess, but probably more new to iRacing in general, more likely. Newer, at least. Thinking this three is gonna catch me. He's catching fast. I haven't really had to do much side-by-side -side racing yet. Have I had to do any at all? No. I would like to hold on to my silver medal, though. Especially if uh, the leader makes another mistake, and maybe it's uh, too big of a mistake. I could have some crazy upset win here. <laughs> but that's just me dreaming. Uh, focus on hitting my marks, not to overdo it. I don't want to crash myself trying to keep in front of a guy that's clearly, or very likely, has much more experience in these cars. We'll just try to be fast. Nothing really changing here. Just gonna still try to be fast. That was pretty good. I say as the guy catches me and I miss a shift. <laughs> this guy's real fast. I'm gonna have to let him go. Let him go here in a moment. I just hope he doesn't try to do it at a dumb time. Thank you, Paul. Car ride. Let him have it. 
clear on the right. Alright. I mean, you can see how fast he is. There's no way I'm holding him off it in any way. And if I try, I'm probably just going to end up uh, making a dumb mistake or something. So We're still on the podium as of right now, and I don't think that's going to change unless I crash, because we got 11 seconds behind us. Maybe I'll learn something, too. See what he's doing. He gets on the, out of this corner a lot faster. He's more aggressive with the throttle. I've been real nervous with it because uh, of the time I spun in practice. So. As I kind of... Ooh! I almost overdid that. That was kind of scary. As predicted, he's faster through this section. I tried to go a little faster through there. Try to mimic him a little bit. That was not too bad. That's pretty fast through there. Alright. Learning stuff. Glad I let this guy by. I can learn some things. That means one more lap to go. He'll finish the race about two seconds in front of us, though. Last lap. Bring it on Ooh, home. messed up that turn in. We're fine. Two seconds might have been optimistic, actually. Very fun to drive, though. Having a great time. Podium in my first start? Is that what we're doing here? I am very happy with that. That's what's going to happen, and I'm not going to make a dumb mistake and jinx myself right now. Gonna make it through here one last time. Who has crashed? I don't know, they disappeared, but it was not someone on the lead lap, so I guess we don't have to worry about that. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Good race, good win. Pull it over. Oh, he's chosen that spot. That great job. You did really well. <laughs> yeah, podium in my first USF 2000 race. And a very fun drive as well. All right. That's awesome. Third and fourth. Finished third. Yeah, I guess number three kind of just messed up their uh, qualifying, so they had to move through the field, and that's why they uh, were going so fast but took so long to get to us. So, finished third as the number two. But uh, no way do I feel disappointed in that. I am very excited that that went so well. So, let's see what happened out here. That was a weird start, too. Mm, some wheel touches. Don't want to be doing that on open wheel. Example number two. So when we saw, and I was really afraid that we were going to end up in this one. They easily could have bounced off and ended up in front of us. Yeah, that guy just drove to the right and hit him. Yeah, it got close. They started coming. I think the guys behind us maybe lost some time because of uh, because of all that. So look, they're having to break for it. Yikes! That might have helped us get our spot too. To be honest, the bad for Colin. He he obviously had very similar pace based on the qualifying lap. His whole race is ruined from that, pretty much. I mean, he still came back and got fifth, so I'm guessing he was probably faster than us. Wow, look at that. He, st he still came back and got fifth after going that slow and having that much trouble. So, I think there was a lot of luck involved with me getting this uh, third place. Did that practice? 
I want to get your tires on that grass and the green stuff. Kind of like that. Or just takes out the 16. 16 might have been going through there slow, but I don't know. Ooh, ooh, that was kind of weird. What happened there? Maybe they got in the grass, but taking out the cones. Oh no, James is stuck. Is he stuck? Looked like he was. Yeah, looked like he was stuck. Formula drift. Didn't they qualify near the front? Yeah, they qualified ahead of us in third. They just uh, had trouble during the race. Not sure what happened. Hmm, man. And he still got fifth? This guy still got fifth. You kidding me? Am I seeing this right? I guess everybody else was having a lot of trouble. For real, I guess just in this series, just staying on the track does wonders for you. What that? The missed breaking point. Sorry, I got this thing up still. Yeah, so if you ever run a USF 2000 race, just stay on the track. You'll have some, some success. In fact, what did I end up with? Uh, yeah, 0x in my debut race. Heck yeah. And uh, I believe that was it, huh? All right. First ever race in the USF 2000. Got about... 30 minutes of practice ahead of time, and it somehow was able to pull off a podium. That's awesome. I mean, it is kind of lower uh, strength of field. Uh, it's late at night. I believe this was single split, but uh, just blew my own expectations out of the water. I'm so excited, and uh, it was so much fun. So uh, glowing reviews here for USF 2000, and uh, you'll see some more of this because I will be happy to race more of it in the future. So, all right. Thank you to uh, Santa for bringing me some iRacing credit <laughs> to buy this car because it's been a that was a blast. All right, enough of me yammering about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.